Excellency Maria Leonor Robledo, Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines, the Board of Trustees of the Ramon Magsaysa Award Foundation, my fellow 2021 Ramon Magsaysa Awardees, past recipients of the award, members of the Magsaysay family, distinguished diplomats, including our friends from the Philippine Embassy, Islamabad, government officials from Pakistan, Bangladesh, Indonesia and Philippines, and distinguished board members, Akhovat. Ladies and gentlemen, 1963, Akhtar Hamid Khan, 29 years later in 1992, Mr. Shweb Sultan Khan, and exactly 29 years later, now, in 2021. I have, alhamdulillah, joined my mentors and fellow countrymen in receiving Asia's most prestigious award. I'm humbled and honored. I'm no more than a torch bearer of a flame ignited by my mentors. Today, I take pride in walking along the path they have laid. There could be no greater honor. When an award is passed from teacher to student, it is no longer the recognition of an individual's efforts, but the validation of a concept and a legacy. Awards like this have special significance. They're not what you receive. For an uphill task of climbing to the pinnacle, but instead they are received for working on the ground and taking pride in the collective rise. This is an award that does not set you apart, but unifies you with humankind. That, for me, is the epitome of Akhovat, the brotherhood of mankind, my entire life's work and passion. And in the words of my spiritual mentor, Muhammad Iqbal, the Ishq. I started my career in the civil service of Pakistan and later parted ways, but in hindsight, it equipped me for the journey ahead. My work itself is neither new nor innovative, and I learned from no other than the teacher of all Muslims, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He, peace be upon him, laid the foundation for eradication of poverty, slavery and exploitation through the message of Mawakhat er solidarity. What does Mawakhat mean? Ladies and gentlemen, it means one privileged household gives part of his possessions to one that has nothing. One neighborhood takes care of another, and one community accepts the responsibility to build one that has lost hope. This is a simple yet profound formula for the equitable distribution of wealth and resources. With this comes hand in hand 
the concept of small loans, free from interest and service charges, in the tradition of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and in fact, in the tradition of all religions of the world. The world is now beginning to realize the grave reality of failure of trickle-down approach and market economy. That is bringing the world to its knees and sending individuals and nations into ever-increasing debt. Economists have long tried to resolve the issue of world poverty, but let me remind you of one such solution that was given 1450 years ago. We at Akhubat have only reiterated the same philosophy of mabakhat and interest and collateral fee micro loans and with it the intrinsic belief in the goodness of humankind i am privileged to acknowledge that akhovas has received the greatest support from the people of pakistan equally the government of Pakistan has committed to eradication of poverty and equitable growth for all. Our borrowers are our supporters, our successors, and our friends. They are the most trustworthy, bankworthy, and dedicated individuals who, despite the impediments they face, <coughs> Remind us to stay resilient in the face of adversity. They remind us of human dignity and self-respect. I would like to express my humble gratitude to Akhovat's board of directors for their unwavering support to me and commitment towards our collective vision of creating a poverty-free world. I thank my friends, each and every one of our donors, for taking Akhovat to a global level and helping us to establish the world's largest interest-free microfinance program, the journey Ladies and gentlemen, was not simple. Adversaries and skeptics always said, such programs are not sustainable. Yes, such programs are not sustainable, but for the grace of God, but for the spirit of sacrifice and giving. Programs like Akhovat begin where conventional economic wisdom ends. As these programs don't believe in my share or cutthroat competition, they believe in sharing and altruism and in the spirit of sacrifice and giving. I would not be standing before you if it was not for the employees and volunteers of Akhovat working selflessly in 400 cities across Pakistan, from the heights of Himalayas to the shore of Arabian Sea. I wish, I wish to thank all of you for your dedication, your commitment, and above all, your faith. When people would ridicule the concept of interest-free lending, you believed me when others doubted. You are responsible for turning a fool's dream into a pragmatic reality. 
I thank the Ahovath family, which never breached my trust and made possible an unbelievable 100% rate of return that to date puzzles the economic pundits. When you take on a family as large as Akhuvat, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot help but at times sacrifice the moments you could be spending with your own family. My wife, Farrah Amjad, and my children, Junaid and Farazin. It has been your continuous love that has given me the strength that I needed to carry forward this holy mission. It was your support and love that has given me the inner peace to take on the turmoil outside. Thank you for sharing the weight on my shoulders by always standing by my side. My heartfelt gratitude to the trustees of Ramon Max Sai Award Foundation. It's my pledge on behalf of Pakistan and on behalf of Akhuvat that we will continue our struggle till we reach our goal of a peaceful and poverty-free world. A world where every child goes to school and every poor has shelter and medicine. To conclude, I would like to remember the man in whose honor we all are gathered here, the incomparable Ramon Mac Sai Sai, who said that a country is like a pyramid, a country is like a tower, It is made up of millions of stones and the foundation stone of this pyramid is the common man. Ladies and gentlemen, today with immense appreciation I accept this award on behalf of every foundation stone, on behalf of the common man and women whose commitment and faith in goodness, piety, and in a prosperous future remains unshaken, despite all difficulties and impediments. I am grateful to be a part of the Max Sai community, creating new bonds of solidarity with friends from Asia. I believe the solution for poverty will be achieved by working in solidarity with the poor. Poverty is pain. Poverty is poison. We all remain poor until every single person in this world is poor. Let's rise. Together we will instill hope and become a voice for the voiceless, shelter for the shelterless, and hope for the hopeless. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. May you all live long and live happily.